Gen AI is here. We asked the audience, you know, how many of you have used it in the last week, even within the area of their expertise, and the majority of the audience raised their hand. With the emergence of Gen AI, not only that's going to empower our people in the affiliates, but also the global teams with direct insights, information, content, etc. they need, but then that unlocks so many other opportunities for us to meet those patients necessary where maybe our people are not physically yet. So I do think this is going to be a good opportunity for us to really continue to lean in to Gen AI and technologies like that in order to help us really get those medicines to patients and need. If generative AI is going to be absolutely crucial in the area of innovation, uh, I really do think that we'll see a lot of acceleration on the difficult science, the difficult molecules, the difficult modalities anywhere across the velvet chain. The key challenges are that companies really focus on the end-to-end -end, you know, value creation and how it is being done versus an individual small use case and spending time and energy there. I think in the era of generative AI, it's very important to work on this topic as the whole organization and avoid uh, silos. This is why we have a central pro Gen AI program, which I lead at Novartis, where we coordinate our activities across the whole organization. And there's are many activities, things that might be might all be disconnected from the first uh, glimpse, like uh, use case and research and use case and commercial actually have the same technological backbone, which uh, from technology perspective will almost uh, equal to be the same use case. Life science companies uh, will have to think how can they train their people uh, to ensure that, you know, there are no security risks involved uh, with using the Gen AI technologies or any AI technologies, but also I think more importantly, how to trust the output and when not to trust it and how to build, um, let's say, mechanisms around this to ensure that whenever Gen AI is being used in a day-to-day -day environment, uh, that it's safe and that it's really trustworthy.